Good morning. Mark Platt, Enterprise Editor of the San Diego Union Tribune. I'm here with Dana Littlefield, and uh, we're back talking about the Zahal trial and uh, civil case. And you've been point on this. This uh, and how many how many weeks are we going on now? Oh, it's been about a month. That this has been um, going on. A yeah. month. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So now you've done previous we've talked about this previously. What is let's kind of summarize maybe the past week or the past few days. What's new? Okay. Uh, well, just a little bit of, of background for anyone who might not be familiar. Um, this is a civil trial involving the family of a woman by the name of Rebecca Zahau, mm -hmm. whose body was found hanging from a mansion, a second-story balcony, uh, in, um, in Coronado. Uh, the, the mansion was owned by her boyfriend, Jonah Shacknai. The county determined, after some investigation, that she died by suicide, mm -hmm. that, this, that she had hung herself, right. bound and hung herself. Whereas the family has long disagreed with that. They believe that she was killed, and they actually believe she was killed by her boyfriend's brother, the right. person who discovered the body right. that morning back in July of 2011. So you asked me about what's been going on this past week. Right. Well, we've had a number of experts testify in the in the case, the wrongful death trial, um, basically contradicting the experts that the plaintiff's attorney, the family right. attorney, brought on. Mm -hmm. So uh, earlier this week, we had a, a an internationally recognized not expert. I wrote that down <laughs> to make sure I got the the title correct. Uh -huh. A man by the name of Robert Chrisnall, who talked about the knots that were on. Uh, Ms. Howe's body. Her her arms and her legs were bound behind her back. Mm -hmm. um, the knots were somewhat loose. Mm -hmm. The family has argued that those knots were nautical in nature, and um, they have used that as one of the links they say there are between this event and the person they blame for her death, which is Adam Shacknai. Mm -hmm. He works as a tugboat captain, and they suggest that he would know how to do these kinds of knots because of his pro profession. Mm -hmm. Well, this expert came forward. He is an expert on, on suicides, mm -hmm. and he talked about how he's seen these kinds of knots in other suicides, mm -hmm. and that there's nothing about them that is specifically nautical in nature. So, uh, and essentially he talked about in 30 suicides that he had investigated, mm -hmm. um, 10 people had bound themselves uh, with ropes like this. So it's, it's not, it, it, the information that she had bound herself alone is not enough to, to point to that this is a homicide rather than a suicide. Mm -hmm. So it's happened before, it's not happened impossible, before. because people were saying, how could she possibly do this? You know, couldn't happen. But in this case, he's saying he's seen that before. Yes, okay. exactly right. Okay, so that was one one of the major. Those were one of the experts. Uh, yes. Uh huh. And then what? Who else was was up? Well, we had other experts testify this week. Uh, one of whom talked about the uh, the report that was created by the original. Uh, pathologist, mm -hmm. the the doctor who worked in the county medical uh, examiner's office here in San Diego, who um, did the autopsy right. back on the body in, in uh, 2011. And this expert, a man by the name of Dr. Gregory Davis from the University of Kentucky, mm -hmm. he testified that that report that was created at the time was, quote, one of the finest he had ever seen. Mm -hmm. And essentially he agrees with those findings, that this was a suicide and not a homicide. Mm -hmm. The evidence points to suicide. Mm -hmm. um, he also specifically pointed to the fact that there's, there, one of the points of contention here is whether Rebecca Zahau um, died as a result of manual strangulation mm -hmm. or if it was by the actual hanging. Right. The family contends that her body hanging from the balcony was a, a staged thing mm -hmm. um, to make it look like she had taken her own life. Well, this particular expert who testified this week said that uh, the evidence shows in the report, he agrees with the original report that said she died as a result of her neck breaking um, in the nine foot drop right. uh, with the rope around mm -hmm. her neck and not as a result of manual strangulation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so we've had, you know, this has been going on a long time. Were you, are you surprised by how long this is, I mean, and with the, the level of detail and the experts, is this surprising? 
surprise you at all? Not really. Yeah. I mean, when you have a case like this, um, there were lots of points that need to be uh, not only put on the record in front of a jury, but actually proven to some degree. Obviously, the standard in a civil case, the standard of proof in a, in a, in a civil case is not as high as it would be in a criminal case. Right. And I should say that. Adam Shacknight was never charged criminal in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, his attorneys are saying that he had absolutely nothing to do with her death. Um, the only uh, role he had in this was finding her body that day and reporting mm -hmm. it to authorities. Mm -hmm. He actually did cut down the body uh, mm -hmm. when he found it, I should say that right. as well. Okay. So, all right, so the court is dark today, or what's well, the, the attorneys, schedule? Well, yes, the okay. attorneys are supposed to meet today to discuss jury instructions. Uh, the defendant's case rested yesterday, so all of the evidence has been presented right. at this point. And so the attorneys are expected to meet in court today to discuss jury instructions, um, what information, what additional information, will, what directions would be given to the jury before they go back to deliberate. Mm -hmm. um, closing arguments will have to happen before the jury begins its deliberations, and that's expected to happen most likely Monday. Okay, so closing arguments should last how long? A day? A couple days? That I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been given uh, a specific time frame, but um, you know, my best guess based on what uh, the reporters out there are telling me, the reporters who are covering this are telling me, it's you know, perhaps a day. It okay. might go into a second day. Okay. Not sure. And then the jury will get get this by middle of next week, early next week, something like that? Yes. Okay. Sounds like that. Possibly as early uh, as Tuesday. Uh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. thank you for catching us up. We will be, uh, be, we'll be here again with you or one of the reporters. And I uh, really appreciate the coverage. It's been very uh, extensive. Uh, very well done. Continue to watch for our reports uh, in the, the in print and online. For Dana Littlefield, I'm Mark Platt. You have a good day.